Hello everybody, this is Douglas Jones or Malachi Gaming back again. I'm sorry that I haven't loaded up in a long time, but here we are again now. We are playing the Enchanted Cave. It's a nice little flash game that you just move around everywhere. Go, you try to get to the bottom floor. You pick up artifacts and you get new weapons along the way. I think it's pretty amazing. You fight these things. Sometimes you get stuff to actually see their health and other other stats. Sorry for that mess up there. Right now I got nothing for it because I just started a new game. Well, not really even just started because I haven't played this in quite a long time. Hopefully I can give you guys a... I say, mm, good let's play of it all. But I got, got no promise there for you because this is a pretty, pretty long game. Starting over and over again whenever you're close to death and all. But I think it's also still a pretty amazing game too. You drag stuff up there to equip it. You got the bags. You got multiple types of enemies, actually. I love that. You never have to worry about that. I'm actually surprised I got that weapon. That's actually a pretty strong weapon this, this far in the beginning of the game. There we go. That's cool. There we go. Now we got even more strength. Mad bats. Rings. All the rings give you different stuff. There's multiple rings. This one gives me three defense, two magic, and plus MP3. Speed up the red goo. Kill the green goo. Take out another red goo. And finish off the last monster. And there we go. You see here, we got a new monster here. Angry Goblin. As you can see, he's a lot stronger than any of the other ones. You can all can see this white crystal here. That gives you something. I can't remember what it does. Oh, agility plus one. That means that my attacks will go faster. More attacks before they attack and all and everything. Add that. Green goo. You see this gold chest up here? Usually that will hold a artifact or a, um, what was it called? Escape wing, which will allow you to leave. Now, you always want to use an escape wing before you die, because if you die, you don't get to keep anything. Any artifacts you find or any of those gems you find either. Uh-oh. Why ain't it working? There we go. Got new pair of boots, two defense, plus eight to, I think, earth or tree or nature, whatever that is. I never figured that out, really. I know what all the others are, which is wind, water, and earth. I never figured that wind, water, and fire, not earth, sorry. I think that's either earth or nature. Oh, we got our first artifact, a broadsword. Fifteen attack and five defense. Well, that was only eight attack and one agility. See how much more damage we do with that. Go down. One. Two. Nope, still the same amount of attacks. Another agility gem. If I remember correctly, every ten floors you get another um, merchant. So you can buy potions and stuff there. So you can keep yourself safe. Otherwise... Like I said, you gotta use an escape wing and get out of there. There's no other way to get out except an escape wing. Defense will help you out in the long run, but what you really want is attack so you can wipe them out in one hit before they get a chance to attack. Mm -hmm. 
See, I'm low health right now. That means I gotta be careful. And hopefully just kill them all off in one hit. See, like these purple ones, I'm just gonna avoid them for now. Unless I know I'm sure I can take one out. There we go, we got a pair of escape wings. So if I'm ever close to death, I can just click on that and we can get out of there. I will tell you this, you cannot use them while you're in a fight. So if you're not sure you're going to survive the fight, do not get in it. Please remember that you also don't need to fight every single person on the floor. But it's an unnecessary thing that I just like to do. See, that's what we're, what we're supposed to get before the cutlass. Ooh, we gotta get that over there. Always try to go for the golden chest if you can. Well, the golden chests and these gems. They stay with you throughout the whole game. Because when you leave the area, when you leave the dungeon, you got to start over from the beginning. But the good thing is, you get to keep all the artifacts you found. And you get to keep... And... Yeah, that's it. If you get far enough down, though, you can start from that area. Let's see, like, see, like this here area... I'm just going to skip up, I'm going to get this, that thing there, and that thing up there, and I'm just going down again. Because I don't think I'd make it if I go on everything. You want to get the bags too, because they'll always hold money for you. And it's usually, and the money is always good to have, so you can buy the potion so you can continue going down. Oh, we got another broadsword. That means we actually can sell one of them. See, this fight. See, these things, if I got in a fight with one of those right now, I would not survive it. So, I, well, for all this, I just go for that. Look at that one. And just going down. There we go. We made it to the first shot. See, and there's the small potions. See how expensive they are? You always try to want to get as much, you want to sell all the stuff you can. Okay, there we go. Now we trade. Do we do it again? There we go, trade. We don't even got enough for two small potions, and it only covers 100 HP. So for now, I'm just going to going to skip the potions and just go down as far as I can. See, we could buy the katana. Yeah, we'll buy the katana. Go down to some more. Do we want to buy the iron helmet? Nah. Actually, yeah. Let's see. Hard leather vest. We got enough for it. Silver plate legs. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need those. We're good to go. Trade. Uh, we equip all this stuff. Don't worry about losing. Like I said, don't worry about losing any of these. Those should be fine in your inventory. Well, that's it for now. We made it through the first level, the, uh, past the first level of the dungeon. Tomorrow, I'll upload the second one and it will work down from floor 9 to however far we reach when I end the video. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time in the next video. Like and subscribe, please. I'd love it if you do that, but you don't have to. I'm just thankful for watching my video. Bye-bye.